You know, Riley, obviously some great games. Let's a pick 'em game coming up in just a bit, but mm -hmm. I, I think you might be in the lead so far, actually. I, I mean, not to boast, but I do think I'm actually in the lead. But let's get on into some more action here. Six man action. Groom visiting the White Deer Bucks. First play halfway through the first quarter. Tigers with the ball, and it is intercepted by Brody Weathers. That interception setting up White Deer for this next beautiful play. Weather, Weathers connects with Caden Miner in the end zone. Bucks on the board first, six to nothing. Groove with the ball now, and Trayson Cordley next play takes the toss. Well, you see some fans right there, but he takes the toss and takes it all the way himself. 50 yards to the end zone for the junior, tying things up in the first quarter. But White Deal prevails in this one, taking down the Tigers 42 to 26. And a great matchup again. One of our pickums, Clarendon and Panhandle facing off. Panhandle's Gavain Brookshire sacking Harrison Howard to, or, or Pickton Brookshire getting the sack here coming up in just a bit as we get into the highlights. Here's Brookshire coming into the backfield, and Panhandle's defense was dominant in this game. But Clarendon did get a little bit going on offense. Harrison Howard to Colton Claude for the big gain, but Clarendon unable to muster much in this one. It would actually be Panhandle picking up the win 32 to 12. Now over to Wellington, the Skyrockets hosting Frederick. Wellington being one of the most dominant teams in the area, and they show that again tonight, something we all know. Nixon Folk takes the handoff, runs it up the middle, for a clear first down Wellington, but folks, is it done? That run turns into a quick touchdown for the Sky Rockets as Folk takes it to the left and all the way into the end zone. Wellington with this shutout, 40 to nothing over Frederick. And Ropes and Boys Ranch, new head coach for Boys Ranch coming at it today. And Boys Ranch having a good showing, really, in a, in a, with a new head coach at the helm. Here, it is Ropes with the ball. Mason Marmojo takes the reverse and goes 25 yards on the gain. Same drive, Hayden Torres throwing a bomb to Reese Williams for the touchdown in the back of the end zone. Ropes dominating in this one. Next drive for Ropes, Ben Salad Diver fumbles the ball and it's picked up by Andy Jones for Boys Ranch, which would lead to a touchdown. Ropes with the ball and Branson Beck takes the reverse and he goes 30 yards and trucks his way into the end zone. But ultimately, coming out on top in this one, it would be. <laughs> well, next game, Sundown. Roughnecks with the ball. Ricky Melendez runs in for the touchdown. Extra point, no good. Only 6-0. to zero. Next play, Fighting Irish QB. Philip Cook with the pass to Rodney Holmes for the TD. Extra point here is blocked. Score is all tied up, 6-6. Six, six. Last play we have here for you. Roughnecks, Caleb Clausen runs it in for a touchdown. Sundown taking this one big, 34-18 to 18 over Shamrock. And some other scores around the area. Farwell taking down New Deal 40 to 30. Of course, Panel Clarendon, we saw that game already 32 to 12. Sanford Fritch and Groover. It's Groover taking the 39 to 14 victory. And West Texas Stanette picking up the win in their opener against Hale Center. Some more scores here for you. Vega 39, Bovina 26, and Valley Mills with the shutout over Wheeler 13 to nothing. All right, plenty more wrap-up to come. We'll be right back with more after the break.